Hey everybody, Natix here. So today, um, we've got some new stuff to go over, um, but before we do, uh, last episode I asked you guys at the end of it to create yourselves a new item, and hopefully you did. Um, I already did myself, and I'll show you what I did. What I did is I created a bronze bar. Uh, the idea behind bronze is it's crafted by combining copper and tin. Um, in instances where like if you play Minecraft and uh, modded Minecraft it's usually one copper to three tin creates you a bronze bar and that's kind of the idea I want to go with this um, I didn't uh, create the recipe for it I'll do that uh, before I upload the files to the just for you guys um, I'm not sure if everybody's noticed but after every episode when I upload the new one I have been putting a zip file in the description that you can download that contains all the files we created in that episode. Um, what I'm also going to start doing is I'm going to start creating templates for every item we go over. So when we create a new item, I'll put a template in here. And when we create a new recipe, I'll put a template in here. And just so that way you guys have a blank template you can work off and I'll include those in the downloads. Okay, so what we're going to go over today is what some of you have noticed is that you can only craft your uh, tin bar when you are in admin mode. You, When you get out of admin mode, you don't have the ability to craft it. And that is because by default, you don't know the recipe. Um, there are two different ways that we can show you how to craft stuff. Uh, the first one is to learn how to craft it when you pick up an item. And that's what we're going to do for the tin bar. We're going to open up our tin ore dot item. And what we'll do is come down here and we'll change this to learn blueprints on pickup. Just like that. Do a semicolon and then we're going to do an open bracket, close bracket press enter and then down here we can put all the items we want to learn how to craft when we pick up tin ore so what we'll do is we'll just do tin bar for now if we want to add more later all we have to do is come over do a comma and then add another item as simple as that so that is the first method for uh, learning how to craft a item is when we go into game and we pick up a tin ore now we'll learn it or learn how to craft a tin bar the second method is to come down in your default assets and look for player config uh, player config open this guy up and this is a really big file this yeah it's got everything in it um, you'll notice right away though is default blueprints tier one and then we got all these different things here these are all the items that you know how to craft right off the bat in the game without picking up items or finding a blueprint in game to teach it to you and that's what we're going to learn how to do in our uh, episode here also Give me one second here, guys. I have to grab a link that I forgot to have open, and then we will be just right back. Okay, guys, we are back. Um, I got my link open, and what I did while I was off cam is I went ahead and made my bronze bar recipe. It's exactly what I told you it would be, where it's just three tin bars and one copper bar put together makes uh, your bronze bar. Um... So we were going to go and show you guys how you can make your player config patch to know a recipe on default like our bronze bar. So first things first is I want to make a new file into our default directory here, our root. And we'll just make it a blank text document. Get rid of the extension so it's not actually a text document. And we're going to call this player.config dot patch because we're patching into our config file 
And we'll go ahead and open this one up. And it's just blank for now. And then here is the default one. We can close out of that. And we can close out of that. Um, I'm sure some of you probably noticed if you were experimenting that when you try and copy over um, a JSON file from Starbound and it's got these uh, comments in it, it doesn't work. Um, JSON by default does not actually support comments and Chucklefish actually coded the engine to recognize these double slashes as a comment line so it doesn't read them. Uh, so what you end up having to do is you either have to write out your patch manually and hope you did it right or you have to go through and delete all the comments out. Well I'm going to show you a different way you can do that. So if we look the opening bracket for this is just this very first one here. So what we can actually do is if we just copy this come over here and we'll put in a couple brackets and then we'll notice we have this closing one here so we can put a closing one and then we'll copy this bit of code here in and that's really all we need to be able to create our own patch file. We'll just get rid of that comma there on the end and what we'll do is we'll put in what we want to actually patch in. So we are going to teach it how to do a bronze bar. So we'll do some curly brackets item semicolon parentheses camp whoops I'm reading the line below it bronze bar comma closing curly bracket and then another comma and then if we come over here oops actually I just realized a okay we're going to control X that real quick and we're just going to take it down here and paste it and what we'll do grab this hit control C come over to our patch maker put it into our input we'll grab this again control X put it in there control A control copy paste it in there and what's it saying it's saying we have something wrong um, oh we're missing another one of these looks like right yeah we didn't have that closer it's a little wonky doing it this way at position 216 that's great here let's do control shift J you tell me what's wrong should be right I understand why it's saying that is wrong Should we just try getting, oh, because this should be on the outside. There, there we go. Okay, so there is our patch. And it's going to be correct. The path is default blueprints, tier 1, 0. And then it's adding in the value of this item, bronze bar. If I went through and I removed all the comments from this whole file, which is all these red lines, and did it manually, it would be the exact patch. And in fact, I'll show you that because I have done that. I have over here in these assets a player config file that has no comments in it. I went through and removed it because I was bored. See, so I've got my player config here, and then I've got player no comments config. Bam. No comments in this whole file. So what we'll do is just to show you guys that it's the same. Um, actually, before I do, because I want to show you. 
we'll just throw that in there. Okay, so no comments. Control copy that. Come over here, paste it in, get rid of that. And we'll just add in our item here. So, so and whoops. Instead of doing that, we can just come over here and copy this one. I would always say that when you're going to add in a new item, to just put it at the top. Because if you put it at the bottom, then you wouldn't have the comma on it. And it's going to make issues when you patch in other recipes. So just always put them at the top with a comma. Okay, so Control A, Control C. Come over here, paste it in here. And we will copy this one, come over here. And as you'll see, they are exactly the same. So however you guys want to do it, it doesn't really matter. Uh, just whatever is easier for you to do. So then we can take this blueprint or this patch and we can put it over here, control S, close out of this one, don't save. Now, what you can do is we're going to actually close this up so that it's easier to read. Whenever we want to add another um, recipe to our uh, config, we can just copy this, put a comma on this one, and change the bar. We don't have to go through all that work. It's that easy. But now, if I hit Control S, okay, don't save that. Minimize that. So we've got our player config, we've got our bronze bar recipe, we've made it so we learn tin bar when we pick up a tin ore. We are about ready to go ahead and give this a test. So Control copy that folder here, come over to mods, um, in mine back mods delete our old instance paste it in there uh, I don't believe I have steam open yet maybe nope I sure didn't okay and of course there's gonna be an update for starbound okay guys I'll uh, meet you when we're back in game one second okay guys I'm back and we crashed so, we need to figure out what the heck just happened. So, like before, we go to storage. And I'm going to open this with Adam. And we're just going to do a search for error. Not us. That's not us. That's not us. It looks like a mod might have that I have installed might have updated and... Oh wait, nope. Loading asset items generic crafting tin ore dot item asset exception could not read JSON asset tin ore dot item. Why could you not read our tin ore dot asset? Hmm. That's weird. Items generic crafting. Tenor.item. I didn't do anything to this, so I don't know why. Oh, because I did the learn blueprints on pickup today. Learn blueprints on pickup. So I got I got my semi it's saying the semicolon shouldn't be there. I'm 100% positive the semicolon should be there. Oh, I forgot to put a comma here. That's why. That'll happen to you guys quite a bit. I guarantee it. Don't get frustrated by it, but it'll happen where you forget to put a comma on the end of a line and it just ruins everything. And that was a perfect example. So we'll just go ahead and copy that one. And we'll just come over here and replace the one in here. That is not what I wanted you to do. My dog is sniffing the carpet and sneezing at it. That's interesting. Okay. 
now we'll go get into Starbound. And we'll be right back. Okay, guys, we're back. Um, I've deleted all my testing characters um, just because it's going to be... We're going to need to make a new character either way. So I'm just going to select a Nova Kid and... I can't remember which one's male and female. I believe this one's male. Yeah. I'll just... Not be that one. That looks good for me. Seth, sure. Why not? And get in the game. Yep, yep. Come on. Oh, I totally forgot to shoot. Okay, hold on, guys. I'll be right back. All right, we are back um, in the actual game here. And I've already, I skipped past all the intro part just so that way you guys don't have to see it and hear it. Um, okay, so the easiest way to, to test this is we're going to go put ourselves in the admin mode. And we're going to spawn item inventors. Table. We're gonna set that sucker down. Um, come in here, craft ourselves a furnace, and we'll set it down. And then over here, we're going to spawn item tin ore. And I'm purposely spawning it away from me just because then I can get out of admin mode. We'll come pick it up, and you'll see down here it says learn to craft tin bar. And we'll come in here and we'll see tin bar and up here we'll see bronze bar I should probably should have showed you that the tin bar wasn't there until I uh, picked it up but you get the idea guys it's working we're all good and that's really all you got to do to teach yourself how to craft an item you can either do the learn on pickup or you can patch your player config. It's up to you how you want to do it. Um, next episode, my plan is to show you guys how to do um, animated uh, files. So we're going to make an uh, item that we can place on the wall or something, and we're going to animate it. Probably. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. If you guys uh, have any suggestions or comments, or if you liked it, just uh, let me know. Otherwise, I will talk to you guys in the next episode. Thanks. Bye. Hey, guys. So I forgot to give you an assignment for uh, till next episode. So here's what we're going to do. Um, we will actually, I want you guys to create another ore item with its own bar. And I also want you to make it so it generates it in the world. Um, you can choose the percentage or whatever. But here is what I want you to do. I want you to make a cobalt ore. Um, if you need uh, reference images, just search cobalt and Google images. Um, probably the best thing you're going to find are uh, for Minecraft's cobalt. But uh, do whatever you want. If you don't have the ability to make the art assets yourself, don't worry. Um, I will make some and I will put them into the custom assets folder and that will be included in the download link for today's episode. So when you download that, just look into the custom assets and you'll see a cobalt or a cobalt bar and then the just cobalt for the world generation file. Uh, so those three will be in there, but that's what I want you guys to do. And I want you to also make sure you decide on a way for it to be crafted. Um, how you make it crafted is up to you. And then one last thing, I want you to make it an uncommon or a rare item. That's up to you, either uncommon or rare. Um, but that is it, you guys. So thanks for watching and see you next episode.